Hey guys, Heidi Eastley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I just wanted to take a minute to change this bunny around a little bit. I'm gonna take off the Easter eggs and kind of um, put a bow tie on him. So I was gonna do that and I thought, why not bring y'all along for the ride? So here's how you change a painting if you're not loving it, okay? So I have, and go ahead and tell me hi when you get on here. I would love to um, see where you're from. See where you're from and from, from where you're watching from. So go ahead and tell me hi. Now this bunny, I I just want to take off the, um, <laughs> does this scare some of y'all? <laughs> I just want to take off the eggs. So I'm just going in and taking off the eggs and then adding it. So I know sometimes people get a little frightful if they are changing something. So I want you to know it's okay. I change stuff on paintings all the time um, and it's just paint. So if you're ever like, oh my gosh, I don't like it, you can paint right over it. So how many of y'all, hey guys, how many of y'all um, paint over some of your stuff? Is there anybody on here that gets like that where they're like, eh, I did like that, but now I'm not liking it as much. So I just wanted to show you a quick tip. I was going to do this anyway, so I thought, why not do it live and show y'all a little bit about what's going to happen. And then also to remind you Something cool is happening on Monday. Does anybody know? What is happening Monday? Who knows what's happening Monday? Um, we have a big announcement. Huge announcement. And we are announcing where the location is of the next Paint Party Business Live. We had our last one. We've only had one person guess it. Only one person. Our last one was in um, Fort Worth, Texas at the Stockyards, Billy Bob's. And it was a blast. This year, it's going to be in October again. And I am announcing the location on Monday. And I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I have been keeping it a secret for months now. Um, it has been killing me inside to keep it a secret. And I've been dying to tell everyone. And I just want to... I feel like I'm holding this, this big secret and I just can't keep it anymore. So Monday, I finally get to tell the secret and tell everyone where it's going to be located. So um, if you came to our last one last year, let me know in the comments. Um, and I feel like this year is going to be way better, like so much better. I mean, last year was awesome. It was real. I mean, last year, I feel like it couldn't have gone better. Um, but this year, I think it's just going to like be, it's going to be the place. If you want to do mobile paint parties, if you want to learn, um, I got to be careful. <laughs> I got to be careful when I'm talking because I'm afraid I'm going to say it. And I don't want to um, spoil the surprise because it's Monday when I'm announcing it. So I have to, so if you see me pausing, <laughs> it's because I'm stopping because I'm so scared I'm going to like bleh. Say it. Okay, so um, if you want to know, like, we're going to actually add something extra this year. So I'm going to be, you know, teaching all the latest tips and tricks for a paint party business. But then if you want to um, know a little bit about, like, how to do online stuff, I'm actually going to have a little bit of that, too. So we're going to have a, a time... And you'll know more Monday. <laughs> I gotta be so careful not to spill the beans. You'll know more Monday about um, all of those fun details. But yeah, oh my gosh, I'm just dying here. Just dying. Okay, Brenda says last year was great. Learned so much. Good. Yeah, this year we're gonna have a one of the nights is gonna be optional, of course, for this the night part. Um, but one of the nights will be where if you want to learn more about online, like online stuff. Um, you can come to that and I'm going to teach a little bit about kind of like if you want to bring your paint parties online and um, so there's going to be a a ton of, of new training this year um, and it's in a different location because I just guys I really talk about you know this being a paint party adventure and I don't just talk about it and then go oh yeah make it an adventure but let's not really do anything awesome right you know like I want to make paint parties and adventure. Like that's my whole like thing, like sharing God's love through art and having it be fun, you know? So just, you know, like we do traveling paint parties and, and just, you know, a lot of fun stuff. So, um, Rita says, what time will you announce? Okay, Rita, I'm, 
I'm thinking around 10 a.m. Central, but I'm not positive because there's some other variations that are happening on Monday that I have to, to, to be ready for. So there's some things, and again, I know I'm being not fully transparent right now, but I'm just scared I'm going to say too much. <laughs> I'm so scared I'm gonna to say too much. Okay, for those of y'all joining, um, my name is Heidi Easley, and I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. And I'm just taking away the harsh lines of this bunny because I don't want the black on here anymore. And I also want him to have a bow tie. So I'm just doing a couple little changes and I thought why not have y'all hang out with me for a little bit. So tell me in the comments if you're teaching paint parties already or if you're thinking about it. Um, and also if you are going to be, actually the announcement will go out to paint party headquarters members first. And that's my online group where, you know, every month I'm, I'm helping them just, you know, get, you know, get new paintings, tutorials, all of that kind of stuff. So they're actually, because we only have 120 tickets. So they'll actually get first dibs at the tickets. Then if all of the tickets sell, we will um, open it up for a waiting list. So we'll have only 120 tickets. So I highly recommend um, because we'll have, you know, the almost 900 members in Paint Party Headquarters, you'll get first dibs at the tickets. Um, so I'm going to go live for them first, probably at 10. And then I'm going to give them a two-hour head start. So they're going to have a couple of hours um, to um, purchase the ticket if they would like. And then I'll go ahead and send it out to my email list, to, um, you know, all of the people on Facebook, because this is a a pretty big Facebook page and then I have like 30 something thousand on my email list so I'll send it to them too but I just I want to make sure um, paint party headquarters ladies have first dibs and um, so for all of y'all that aren't in paint party headquarters and you're not in it yet don't worry I'm sure they'll I'm sure there'll be some tickets it just depends on how many get bought and um, I have no idea what to expect like that's one of those moments where it's just, you know, like when you put yourself out there, like you, I mean, I had no idea what to expect for last year's and I was just so overwhelmed with how it turned out. Just meeting all of y'all in person. And um, that's the, that's the thing that's so exciting is just building those relationships and connections and, you know, getting to hug you and see you in person. I love it so much. So my whole family will be there again this year not at the stockyards we have a new location and um yeah it's going to be announced monday i can't wait and will you send videos if we purchase and we can't make it and um, yes stephanie so i don't i don't sell like virtual tickets and um, but let's say somebody purchases a ticket and then you know they can't make it and um, i i don't do refunds so just a heads up i just want to be very open about that and it also says it when you check when you check out but I don't do refunds. There will be a four payment option. Um, so I think it's like three, I think it's $3.59 if you pay in full. Or if you do four payments, it's a little higher. It's like, I think it's like $99 a month. So it's like $30 higher if you do four payments. But I don't do um, refunds. So the reason I don't do refunds is, I don't know if y'all have ever thrown an event like this, but it is a crap load of money. Like a a lot of money and I you know I preach a profit every party and with the price that I'm offering because I wanted to make it affordable because I I personally invest in at least two business conferences a year to grow my business so I am all about like you know again I I you know what I what I'm offering is stuff I do too so I honestly like make sure I'm always learning and growing and so I personally, at least two conferences a year, sometimes more, but, um, but with that, I mean, last year was our first time putting on a conference and I barely, barely pulled a profit. So it's not really about making a profit for this. Um, it's more about, you know, providing something cool. Cause when you get there, it's not like, I'm like, Oh, buy this or buy it. Like, I'm not selling you anything. I'm just teaching you. Like we're just learning and we're bonding and we're just having a great time. So it's not like you get there and it's this big sales presentation. No, um, I'm teaching you. So it's the place to be. Like if you're in the paint party world, um, it's definitely the place to be. So with that amount, like 
Again, I think it's going to cost me almost $30,000 to um, <laughs> to put it on. So it's almost pretty much a wash. Um, it's pretty much a wash. Maybe a little bit if we sell all the tickets. So when you see people like me and, and Tamara, I'll be going to her event later um, next week. You know, it's it's definitely an undertaking. I don't think any I don't think people realize the the risk like that that we take when we put these things on. And um, I didn't realize it until last year when we planned that one and just the it's just scary. You know, like you want to do you want to provide something so cool and we are totally stepping up the game this year, like majorly. And um, and I'm so I cannot wait. Cannot wait to tell y'all about it on Monday. But I think um, sometimes, you know, people don't understand the, the, the back of, I mean, you know, like it's already been in planning for months, you know, it's already been in planning for months and we're like so, so excited to just tell you the next part of it, where it's going to be. And, um, and yeah, I mean, I think it's almost $30,000 that I'm investing. And um, so it's a, it's a big chunk of change. That's for sure. And somebody asked the other day, and I was like, yeah, I could totally make way more profit doing about four big paint parties than doing this. So it's not really, honestly, I, I'm not doing it because of the money. I'm doing it because when we all get together and learn and just bond and make these new friendships and um, you dedicate two and a half days to your business and really like put things into action, I think it's just, you know, we're, you know, where whether you come with a friend or you come alone, like I, a lot of times I go alone to, to business conferences and I end up meeting people that I've been, you know, doing stuff online with um, and that's where I meet them for the first time. And it is the craziest thing because like, especially like the girls in paint party headquarters who've been helping each other and all of those things. And um, it's like when they meet each other and I meet them. It's like we already know each other. It's the craziest thing. And, um, you know, six, over six years ago when I started all this and I, I went to my first business conference in California, and um, I remember my husband and my mother-in-law, they were like so, I was staying with one of the girls I had been in this um, program with for an entire year. I mean, I talked to her every week, like on the phone. I mean, all of this stuff. And, um, and so they were so scared. They're like, are you, are you going to get murdered? Like, is somebody not, you know, it was just the craziest thing. Cause we had never, like, I'd never experienced that. Like I'm flying to California by myself, meeting a lady I've never met before. You know, it sounds like, you know, something that's going to be on Dateline later. Right. And then, so I had to call from the hotel room and like FaceTime and show them that, okay, it's a real person. I'm an adult. <laughs> it's a real thing. And, and the craziest, coolest part was you know, I was at this conference and I remember taking a break and I called Bobby and I said, I said, Bobby, I have found my people. Like other people think like I do, you know, like we're so much, you know, we're so much like a lot of times in this, you know, teaching paint parties and running a business, whether you're running a paint party business, or you're thinking about running a paint party business, like it's a lot of loan work. Like we're we're working a lot alone, you know, as much as we say, um, you know, I mean, we are around people when we do paint parties, but we're alone a lot of times. Like it's a very lonely world. And so when you make sure that you have, you know, like you take time to invest in these friendships and these people that you meet, man, it is so much more fun, so much more fun. And um, I think that's why I'm so excited about speaking at Tamara's event next week because I'm like I gotta go see Tamara and hang out with Sarah and Cindy and you know all the the girls that I met online doing business and now we're all friends so it's just you really can make true friendships from something like this so I, I don't know I think the knowledge is definitely worth it because you the cost of it let's say you gain one thing that makes you have a filled up paint party well, $3.59, that's, that's one paint party of 10 people, right? So, you know, think if you, you know, gain more than one thing, how much that could actually turn the investment around. And then I think people discount this a lot. The friendships, like, you know, I'm 40, you know, it's hard to just go in town and make some friends. Like it just doesn't, just doesn't work that way. It's hard to make friends, you know? And so, um, 
so when I, you know, met these girls online and they're all doing what I'm doing and, and I'm like, oh my gosh, we have so much in common. And then I, you know, meet them in person and I find out they're awesome too. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. You know, so now I have, I have somebody to talk to when I'm freaking out or about to put on an event and spend $30,000 of my family's money, you know, things like that. They're like, oh crap. Like, you know, it's scary. It's scary doing that kind of stuff but you know that it's worth it because of what comes out of it. So if any of y'all were there last year, it was insanely awesome. Um, just meeting all of y'all, laughing, we line dance. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I'm like the worst dancer in the world, but I was out there. And then um, just you know all kinds of, of fun stuff. And this year I have a lot of surprises in store. Um, last year we did a scavenger hunt. This year I kind of have a scavenger hunt with a twist, but again, surprise, I can't tell you that because I like to make sure that you are um, having some surprises on there. Okay, let's see. I saw polka dots while you were covering up the black. Okay, so what I did with this bunny was he had eggs here. I didn't like them and he was, he was outlined in black and I didn't like that. So I went ahead and just added a bow and changed it up. So honestly, guys, the... Um, the point of me being on here was not to talk about Monday. It was really just to show you that I was changing this up. So if you ever do a painting and you're not really that happy about it, um, just let it dry and then just literally paint right over it. So you can see, like if you get way close, you can kind of see the, um, the lines from the egg, but you really can't see it further than, you know, a couple of feet away. Only if you knew, like only the people that know that was happening are probably the only ones. Um, and then I just used the back of my brush for polka dots. And then my new favorite color, um, of course, the glitter and the gold is still my favorite favorites. But mermaid tail, this is one of my new favorites. So if you have not gotten mermaid tail, I would highly recommend ordering it. Um, I tried to find it at Michael's, but my Michael's didn't have it. So I ordered it, um, I ordered it at decoart.com. Um, let's see. Deborah says the friendships is priceless. Yes. Oh, hi, Joyce. Hi, Brenda. Hey, Mary. All right. So does anybody have any questions before I go? Because I am not going to be live again until Monday. And what I'm going to do is go live and paint party headquarters group first, give them first dibs. Um, and then once the, um, once, I'll give them a two hour head start. And then after that, I'm going to um, send an email out. I'm going to go live on my Texas Art and Soul page and then um, go from there. And so then we will be ready. And again, the event isn't till October 7th through 9th. Um, however, you will know why, but I recommend staying through the 10th and actually um, leaving on the 11th. So you'll know more information why on, um, on Monday. I can't wait. All right, guys, do y'all like this? Is it look okay? I just wanted to change out some of the harsh black. I actually might. I don't want black at all on this. I'm gonna do one last thing. Sorry, y'all. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna do white there because I just don't want black at all on the spring painting. I just feel like it's a little harsh for the, for the spring. Cause I usually outline almost everything in black. It's just kind of the style. I do a lot of zentangling in black, but I just feel like, see how quick you can change something and it gives it a whole different look. There we go. Is that better? All right. Oh, can't see the whole thing. Let me see. There we go. Can you see it now? Okay, great. All right. Y'all have a great weekend and um, I'll be live on Monday. Can't wait to tell you where it's at. Ah. <laughs>